Welcome to Network Marketing Pro. My name is Eric Worre, and today I want to talk to you about a radical approach to goal setting. At this time of year, everybody's looking for goals, they're setting goals, they're making New Year's resolutions, and I believe there's a better way to get results. See, what most people will tell you is, look, set a goal, create some activities around that goal, and then set up some new habits that support that goal. And those things are great because goals do give you direction, right? Activities provide a game plan to help you get results and habits help you stay on track. But what I wanna share with you is something completely different and that's this. Your motivation matters. In other words, why is it that you're pursuing the goals in the first place? Why is it that you're wanting these changes to happen in your life? See, I've gone through a bit of a metamorphosis in my life. At the beginning, when I was first involved in business, first involved in network marketing, I was totally and completely focused on me, my income my rank, my recognition, right? Um, my trips that I wanted to go on, my car that I wanted to have, my house that I wanted to move into. Me, 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 me. And I will tell you what happens when you set goals based upon just you is it's a bit empty. And the motivation starts to waver throughout the year. Same thing that happens when you're dealing with um, New Year's resolutions, right? Uh, most people, by the time you watch this video, their resolutions have already been broken. Most of the time, I think, it's because the motivation is misplaced. And <clears throat> here's what I wanna tell you. Instead of focusing on setting goals to get, I wanna give you a strategy that will help you actually achieve those goals, but with a different purpose. I think there's a better way. There's two different things that not only motivate me, but they work better in helping people achieve goals. Here's what they are. Number one is growth. And number two is contribution. Not only do these things help you achieve your goals, but they also actually, at least for me, they make me happy. When I'm growing, I'm happy. When I'm contributing to somebody else's life in any kind of positive way, I'm happy. So not only is it helping me, but it is helping others. I'm getting better, I'm getting stronger, I'm getting wiser, and I'm contributing to the world. I, my purpose on earth is showing up in real life, okay? so. As we go through this goal setting exercise together, I want you to look at your goals through those two filters. Think about goals that will force you to grow. Think about goals that will help you contribute to other people. Because as the old saying goes, if you help enough other people, everything will be fine for you. Everything will be taken care of for you. But if you only take care of yourself, you're going to live a small life. If you rank advance and you don't really help any other people, you step on people along the way, you're not gonna feel happy, you're not gonna feel fulfilled, you're not gonna feel satisfied. But if you achieve that new rank because you helped other people get to where they wanted to go, all of a sudden everything takes on new meaning. So here's what I'd like to do. I'd like to give you some category ideas, some ideas that you can think about in your network marketing business. And we're gonna talk about them. Now your goals are your goals, but I'm gonna give you some common ideas that we talk about inside the network marketing profession that I think will help you. But I want you to think about these goals in with the filters of, will this help me to grow? And will this help me contribute to others? Let's start by your product or service. If you become a true ambassador of your product or service, in other words, the product isn't just an excuse, it's not just something you sell, but it's something that you truly embody. You become an ambassador of your product or service. You become the, the biggest user of your product or service. 
You, you develop your product or service story. You share that with other people. You impact other people's lives. If you do that, if you become the person known as an absolute ambassador for your product or service, will that help you grow? Will it help you grow as a leader? Will the product or service actually enhance your life? Will you be viewed differently by other people? Will it help you contribute? Because if you do this as a leader, you become a product ambassador, are you going to impact the lives and the focus of people on your team where they start using the product publicly whenever possible, when they start telling their product story whenever possible, because you were the leader that started to do it in the first place. Is that gonna to contribute to their career? Is that gonna to contribute to their, their development of customers? Is that gonna to contribute to the growth of their organization? Is that gonna to contribute to the overall health of the company and of your organization? I think the answer is yes. So developing a product culture starting with you is in my opinion a good goal for network marketing. Let's talk about your story. Your story. See there's something that happens in network marketing. Our story is so important. When we go tell someone the reason why we got involved in this profession, that story is so valuable because it gives people a picture of what might be possible for them. It humanizes us. But I want you to also understand this. Anytime you want, you can change your story. You can rewrite your story. You might be hanging around network marketing. You haven't even done much. So you're not even inspired by your story. Maybe a goal is to make your story for this year so powerful, so exciting, so compelling that it inspires other people. So think about story in the terms of what story can you start writing today? And not just writing, but living. As far as how you're growing your organization, as far as, as your, your, recru your recruiting that's happening in your group and the personal development that's happening inside of you and, and how your rank advancing and how your income is going up. Here's the, when you look at this from a growth perspective, of course you're going to have to grow in order for your story to get better. Of course you're going to have to develop, become more. That's the real um, impact, is you get to become more by creating this great new story. Now think about this in the, in the filter of contribution. How is you creating a fresh, new, exciting, inspirational story going to impact your organization that's just watching you go through the motions, maybe if you've going, been going through the motions up till now. It's going to contribute to them in a dramatic fashion. Maybe set a goal for your story to be known everywhere across your entire company. Maybe your story to be known everywhere across the entire profession of network marketing. What would have to happen in order, as far as growth is concerned for you to be able to achieve that goal? Next is customers. Next category, customers. I think it's a great goal to develop a customer culture, not just a distributor culture in your organization, but a culture of people who gather customers, people outside of the distributorship group that are using the product, getting benefit from the product. And if you develop that culture, starting with you, and you, you start gathering a whatever the number of customers you think is appropriate inside of your organization and you teach other people to do the same thing is that going to cause you to grow is that going to cause you to, to build new muscles in your business new skill sets in your business and as far as the contribution side of things imagine everybody in your organization every single person in your organization having an extra 10 or 20 customers in their group what happens to the success of the group when you make that happen as a leader. That's an amazing goal. When you think about it through these filters again, right? Instead of what am, how much am I gonna earn, what rank am I gonna get to, that'll take care of itself. Focus on growth, focus on contribution. Next is recruiting. You are building a network. The value of network marketing is you're building a network of other people who are also gathering customers, using the product, building their own businesses, right? So when you're out there, you need to be leading by example and continuing to bring in the new class of recruits for your business. So not just encouraging other people to do it, but you doing it yourself. Leading by example, 
Pick a number that you think is a good number that will cause you to grow in order to be able to achieve it. And then encourage other people to do the same. And it'll be easy to encourage them because you'll have been leading by example the entire way. What's a good recruiting goal for you? If you look at it from what it's gonna force you to become and also the contribution it's going to make to your organization, maybe that number can creep up a little bit higher, okay? Next is your income. Um, Jim Rohn, one of my early mentors, told me something. He said, Eric, well, you know, what's a goal for you? What, what would you like to earn? And I said, well, you know, I'd like to earn a million dollars. A million dollars a year sounds is a really good sound. He said, I like that goal. That's a great goal. He said, let me tell you something. You achieving that goal is not the real reward. The million dollars isn't the reward. The reward is what you're gonna to have to become as a person in order to get the million. Back to growth, right? You have to become something in order to be able to increase your income. You have to focus on growing yourself if you're gonna increase your income. So set a goal that will cause you to grow. Set an income goal inside of your network marketing business that will cause you to push, that will cause you to stretch, that will cause you to become more than you are today. And when you look at that through the filter of contribution, think about the example that you can show to others. Think about the, the pillar of growth that you can show to others as an example of what they can do for themselves. Think about that. Think about other people saying, hey, you know, I knew that person a year ago and they were different and they changed and look what happened to their income. I'm gonna change. So you can be an inspiration, not just a provider for your family, but an inspiration to create thousands of providers of other families. Imagine the impact, the global impact potentially for you by just increasing your income with the filter of growth and contribution. Next, talking about rank, it's the same kind of thing. What rank will cause you to grow and will force you to contribute to your organization at a higher level? Rank is very similar to income, but it was a very useful tool for me because sometimes we really wanna walk across that stage, we wanna get the ring, we wanna, you know, whatever it happens to be within the organization. Uh, let the, the, the filters of growth and contribution push you in rank. Um, and then there's some other things. You, you, there's time management. You know, maybe you're always a procrastinator and you need to work on your time management. You, or, or duplication. Maybe you have some duplication goals and you need to focus on other people instead of just focusing on your, your personal efforts. You need to focus into your organization to see how you can help them unlock the code that maybe they have some fears that are holding them back. You need to become a stronger leader in order to be able to help them duplicate. You need to become a better example in order for them to be able to duplicate. You need to provide a consistent method of operation in order for more people to duplicate. Do you understand? So duplication, focus. Yeah, the top leaders in our profession, guess what they, they, they're, they are excellent at? Focus and consistency. They are focused on their goals because they want to grow. They know that they must grow. They're focused on their goals because it contributes to the lives of others. If you focus for 52 consecutive weeks, if you focus for one entire year, if you're consistent, on a daily basis, for a year, your life will never be the same. The thief of network marketing success is the distracted person. They're all over the place. They're thinking about everything in the world and they lose their focus. Sometimes it's for a week, sometimes it's for a day, sometimes it's for a month, sometimes it's for three months. But if you're driven by growth and contribution, you tend not to lose your focus because it's such a driver. It's something that's so inspiring. It's so, it's so powerful. It's so incredible. So think about your focus and consistency goals and what are you prepared to do in service to your own growth and in service and contribution to others. Another great goal is events. How many people can you get to attend your company convention? 
any major event that your company is putting on. How many people you can have in your organization attend that event? Now on the me, me, me side, you're going to earn, believe me. The more people you get to that event, the more you're going to earn for sure. But on the growth and contribution side, just know that at these events, we have life-changing moments. It's going to force you to grow and stretch and become bigger and stronger and wiser and bolder. But on the other side, on the contribution side, there's nothing that you can do to contribute to a distributor in your organization's life more than having them attend a major company event. That's, that might be the most you can contribute to them. The highest impact contribution you can make to their business is creating enough persuasion and reasons for them to change their life, get on an airplane or drive across the country to go to a company convention. That is a life-changing experience you will contribute to their lives if you become the leader strong enough to help them see a vision so they can go. So now talking about this, listen, that's just a short list of goals and you can come up with a million goals. You could come up with weight loss goals. You could come up with uh, whatever, doesn't matter. A goal to get a car, a goal to get to go on a trip, a goal to take the family on vacation, a goal to, to put the kids in a better school. You can come up with a million of those, that's fine, whatever it is. But think about this in terms of what are you gonna to have to become in order to be able to achieve the goal, number one. And how can you contribute to somebody else's life, number two. If you're growing and you're contributing, I promise you, you're gonna be happier than if it's all just about you. Now, once you set those goals, and I hope you're putting this in writing someplace, once you set the, those goals, then start to determine, one, what activities can you put into place that will help you realize those goals? What activities can you engage in on a consistent basis that will help you to realize those goals? Two, what knowledge do you need to, to gather in order to be able to become more? What, where do you need to learn? What do you need to do? What, what skills do you need help with in order to be able to get better? Knowledge is number two. Activity number one, knowledge number two. Understand, the reason why I put activity number one is most of the learning is in the doing. Not in the study, it's in the doing. A lot of people think they understand network marketing and because they've never done it, they will never understand network marketing because they haven't done what you and I have done. The learning is in the doing. I believe in network marketing. It can't really be learned just with head knowledge. It has to be discovered and you discover it through the activity. So what activities can you put into place to help you achieve your goal? Number one. Number two, what knowledge do you need to, to gather in order to become better? Become absolutely obsessed with learning. Become a lifelong learner. Always be gathering good ideas to be able to implement, to be able to help you achieve your goals of growing and contributing. And then last, I will tell you the third thing, habits. We are all controlled by our habits. And you either have good habits or you have habits that aren't serving you. You have habits that are helping you grow and contribute and habits that are causing your growth and contribution to fall apart. So what habits do you have in your life and are they serving your purpose? Think about the habits that you need to put into place or change from one habit to another habit. One maybe not so helpful habit to a very productive habit. What habits can you surround yourself with, what routines to surround yourself with that will keep you on track and on purpose in your life? Um, I would tell you one other thing, I, you know, look, I love the people involved in network marketing. You're watching this, I love you. The fact that you are out there doing it, facing your fear, making things happen. I love that you are, you want more for your life and, and sometimes you don't even know how to describe it, what's inside of you. But network marketing gives you a vehicle to start to explore that. At this time of year, when we're setting these goals and we're putting things in mind, if we get our intentions right, I want you to know that it can be much more fun than the stress and the drama of always trying to get to that next rank just for you, trying to get that $500 bonus just for you. 
That's not that exciting. It's not that compelling. It's not that rewarding. But when you can help other people get it, when you can become stronger and wiser and more powerful, it doesn't matter how much you're growing, just that you're growing. It doesn't matter how much you're contributing, just that you're contributing a little bit more than you used to be contributing yesterday. That's the great part of what our profession does. I did a poll recently and I asked people, what do you like most about network marketing? And I gave them four answers. One, the products. Two, the income. Three, the relationships. And four, the personal growth. Guess what the biggest answer was? Number four, personal growth. We're a vehicle for personal growth, folks. That's what we do here. So I'll tell you one other thing as we finish, and that is this. If you're gonna grow, pick a budget, set a budget for the year. How much are you willing to invest in yourself? How much you, outside of what your company provides, what are you gonna invest in learning? Whatever that number is, that's your number. But make sure that that number lines up with your big income goals. Because if it doesn't, then there's something off there that you need to examine. Most people never get what we're talking about here more than a passing thought, but you're not most people. You're special. You're spectacular. Take this information. Write it down. Turn it into an amazing plan. And then get out there and make this the best year of your life. Ladies and gentlemen, my wish for all of you is that you decide to become a network marketing professional, that you decide to go pro, because it is a stone cold fact that we do have a better way. Now let's go tell the world. Everybody have a great day. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.